You don't need a toolbox in order to script your own obby. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to script one of these things without using toolbox, without using any free models. And this way, if you touch one, it will literally just kill you. All right, so this is called a base plate, and this is basically like the default thing that Roblox provides us with when we're creating a new game. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this home section and we're going to add a new part. And we're basically going to go over to this property section. And if you can't see this property section, make sure you click on view and click on property so that you can see it. And make sure that you can click on explorer. So you're going to click on this part and then under properties, you're going to look for this brick color right here. And you're going to click this, you're going to set it to red. And this is going to make our part have a red brick color. And then you're going to set this plastic to neon and this is basically going to cause our red part to glow and then you're going to go to home you're going to click on scale and this is basically you're going to you're going to take one of these balls and you're going to drag it and you're going to drag these balls until um until it basically forms a rectangular prism so like something like this and the objective of the game is basically to make it so that players have to jump over these things so this is the objective of the game this is how an obby is made of course, the problem is that you need to actually script it. So if you currently go over here, as you can see, this thing isn't killing me, right? And we basically want this thing to kill us because this is a dangerous part and we're trying to avoid it. So here's how you can script that. So you're going to go over to your Explorer. You're going to click on this plus sign and you're going to click on script. And basically, you can just get rid of this print hello world. And then just type everything that I'm typing right here. So I'm going to say script.parent.touched connect function hit. So let me explain what this is. This is basically saying script.parent. So if this is the script right here, script's parent is this part right here. So we're saying the part dot touched. And that basically means when this part gets touched, then connect that event. So when that part gets touched, connect it connect it into this function. And basically, if you print hit get full name, and then you go to view and you click on output, then if you're over here, as you can see, it's printing out everything that is touching this red part. And that's basically what we've told it to do right here. We've said, okay, when the part, which is a script parent, when the part gets touched, connect it and connect it into this function where this hit right here, this thing is the object that is currently hitting this red part. So as you can see, it's printing out, uh, it's printing out my left foot, my right lower leg, my left lower leg. It's literally printing out all of that stuff. And that's because those are the objects in my body that is actually touching it. All right, cool. So hopefully you understand that. And just one more time, as you can see, it printed out all this stuff, my left foot, my right foot. Now, if you look inside of the Explorer, you can see that my right foot, which is this thing right here, which is one of the things that it printed, this right here is inside of workspace and it's inside of this thing right here. This is called a character. This is a model in workspace with my name on it. And this is my Roblox username. And as you can see, this character, it has something called a right foot. Now we want to get what we want to get is we want to get this humanoid because this thing right here, this thing is health. If you click on this humanoid and then you look at this health thing right here and you set this to zero, your character dies and that's what we want this script to do right now all we know is this hit and this hit right here this hit is basically the object that is currently touching the part so as you can see the right foot from before this right foot is basically the hit and what we need to do is we need to fetch this humanoid and we need to set the health to zero and the way we're going to do that is we're going to say okay so if right foot is the thing that's touching it then right foot has a parent, which is the model. This is the character. So right foot is the child. The parent is the model, the character. And then we can say, okay, so this model actually has a child, not the right foot, but this thing has a child, which is the humanoid. So if you say the parent of the right foot has a child, which is the humanoid, then we can say, okay, then why don't we do the right foot's parents humanoids health? And why don't we just set that to zero? And that is exactly what we're going to code. It's so simple. So that's exactly what we're going to code. We're going to say if hit.parent, then this is saying if the hit has a parent. And remember, this is the right foot. 
if this is the hit, if this is the thing that's currently touching it, we're saying if this thing has a parent. So if the thing that's touching it, the right foot, if that has a parent, which is going to be this model with my name on it, then local character is equal to that hit dot parent. So that character is now that model that has my name on it. And now what we're going to say is we're going to say if the character has a child, which is a humanoid. So if that character, if it could find a child, which is a humanoid and one more time, here's your character. And if you look inside, boom, it found a humanoid. So if this is the foot, the foot's parent is the character. So actually, let me open this so you guys can see it a little bit better. So the hit is like the right foot. The hit's parent is the parent of that right foot, which is this thing right here. So if that thing exists, if this thing exists, then let character be equal to that thing. So now this thing is the character. If that character has a child, which is a humanoid. So here's the character. Does this thing have a humanoid? Let me see. Huh? Is this a humanoid? No. Is this a humanoid? No, 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 no. Ooh, this is a humanoid. That's what this is doing. This is saying if there's a humanoid inside of that character. And now if there's a humanoid inside of that character, what do we want it to do? We just want it to set the health. We just want it to set this to zero and that's going to kill our character. That's literally all it is. It's so simple. You guys got this. So local humanoid character, find first child humanoid. This is basically saying, okay, if there was a humanoid inside of that character, then let this variable, this humanoid is going to refer to that humanoid that we found inside of the character. That's what this is saying right here. And then humanoid.health equals, and I guess you guys can figure out what comes next, zero. One more time. When something touches script.parent, when something touches the part, let hit be the thing that touched it. If that hit has a parent, which is the model and workspace with our name on it. So if that hit has a parent, which is going to be this thing right here, then let the character be that parent of the hit. So this is now the character. If that character has a child, which is a humanoid, here's the character, here's the child. Oh, it does. Then let humanoid be that humanoid. So now this lowercase humanoid is going to refer to that thing right there. Then set the health to zero. That's all it is. And I promise you, this is going to work. If this doesn't work, I'm quitting Roblox. It worked. Thank God I don't have to quit because I've spent way too many years on this platform. Okay. And guess what? We can literally take this and we can press control D on our keyboard and that's going to duplicate it. And then you're going to click on home move. You're going to use this. You're going to, you're going to use this arrow right here. You're just going to move it a little bit. You're going to do it again. Control D. Use the arrow. Move it a little bit. Control D. Okay. So you guys can see the pattern now. There you go. And guess what? Our script is going to work for every single one. We don't have to do anything to it because every single part has our script from before. And if you look at any of the scripts, they're all the same thing. And the reason it works is because we have script.parent here. We're saying, okay, script.parent. That just happens to be the parent of the script, which is this thing right here, this part right here. If that thing gets touched, then do everything here. And for every single part, it has its own script, which does the same exact thing. Script.parent. Oh, now we're referring to this part. Okay, what about this one? Oh, it has a script. And guess what that script says? It says script.parent. Oh, what do you think that means? That means we're referring to this part. Here's a script. Here's the parent. So this right here, this is how it works. It's so simple. You guys got this. And now you're going to watch how horrible I am with these obbies. I made this way too difficult for me. And as you can see, it works. Any one of these red things, if you just go to any one of them, it will kill you. And there you go. All right. Awesome. If you like the way that that was explained to you, make sure you go to this website right here. You can buy my book. This basically will teach you how to script from scratch and we will actually cover everything that you learned here in a very, very easy to understand way. And you can see some pictures of the book right here. So every single line of code is actually commented. So you can see right here, it says local first number equals 10. And then there's something right here that explains what this line of code is doing. And the entire book is made like this 
where it gives you code and every single line is explained to you line by line so that you understand everything. I've been scripting on Roblox for nine years, so hopefully you guys like it. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.